Okay, so let's talk about Unit 13, Lesson 2, which is reflections. So what is a reflection? So common um, speak, it would be a mirror image. So it is a mapping of a pre-image, which is the before, to itself across or along an axis. It could be um, a lot of different lines. So um, it's not always just horizontal or vertical. It can be diagonal as well. So the notation um, can vary, but usually you'll see um, another R. It can be lowercase or an uppercase. And then it will tell you it looks different than a rotation because you will see um, like Y equals X or Y axis. Um, and so it will tell you. It won't give you 90 degrees, 180 degrees, okay? So there are a couple of types of reflections. So if I think, I'm just gonna draw a graph. So let's say we have, um, I'll use the uppercase of the y-axis. So let's do, um, I'll do a heart. So let's say I do a heart here. So that's my before. So since this is the y-axis, it's like this is our mirror and we want to flip it over or fold it over and it's going to be the same image. So for a heart, it's going to be hard to see if it's backwards, but this would be our after. Okay, so it preserves the shape, which is called an isometry. Um, same size and shape. The orientation can be different, but it doesn't get smaller or bigger. Okay. Um, another type would be is if we have y, the rotation of the x-axis. So I'll take the same heart, and if we do it over the x-axis, we fold it down, and it's going to be right here. And then the last typical one that you'll see is over the line y equals x. So y equals x is actually the diagonal line at 45 degrees going through quadrants 1 and 3. So let's say um, I take my same heart. So I like to turn my paper sideways. It's hard for me to draw these. There are some strategies though that I'll teach you on the assignment. But we wanna act like we're gonna fold that paper along the line. So like you could even do it if you had your paper and you can see the image. I can draw it on the back and then I'll be able to see it right here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it is, but if you turn your paper sideways, it should look like a mirror image. Okay, so let's look at this. So example one, we've got this quadrilateral and we want a reflection across the line y equals negative two. So we go down to the y-axis of negative two and I like to draw that in. And there's a reason, because my strategy. So if you're good at flipping things mentally, then this will be no challenge. What I do is I like to count the spaces, okay? So it has to be the same distance from that line of symmetry or reflection. So I is actually the same because it's on the line. So that's also gonna be I prime. The E, I wanna go one down, so I'm gonna go one up. And then Q, it's two away, so I'm gonna go two up. So the grid really makes it pretty easy. That was three down, so we're gonna go three up. We're gonna let the B a K. So then I'm gonna connect my dots, okay? So if you can count the spaces, um, it doesn't take a whole lot of imagination, okay? All right, so let's try example two. The x-axis, so that's this. And I'm gonna do, this, do the same idea. A is three up, so I'm gonna go three down. D, we went one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. W, four. And then M is five. Kind of squeeze it in. So I'm just going to connect. And they should look like they're mirror images, like that's the mirror. Okay, so y equals negative x is actually going to be a diagonal line going backwards. So it's in quadrants two and four. Okay, so I like to draw that in and it goes right through the corners of the square. It helps if you draw this in because you're going to be counting spaces to that red dotted line. Um, it is 
almost impossible for me to do this without drawing it. Okay, so I'm going to turn my paper sideways to kind of help you see the counting. So I look at this um, corner, which looks like J. So I kind of see it's one away diagonally. It's a half. So I'm going to go a half in the other direction. Okay. So I do the same thing for T. I'm going to go one diagonal, a half. So here's half and then one diagonal. You have to get creative with your counting. And then A is one square diagonal. So one square diagonal. And then S, so same thing. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. So get a little creative. And if I can, I know I wrote all over it, but it should look, if you look, turn your paper, that should look like a mirror image. I have a harder time doing it when it's up and down. So just a little tip. And then we can also change it instead of just being the x-axis, we can be x equals negative three. So we go one, two, three, which happens to be in the middle of our shape. So remember, you're always counting to that red line. So I'm gonna use green. So W is one to the right, so we'll go one to the left. S, one to the right, so one to the left. I is two to the left, so two to the right and P is one left, so one right. So just do them one by one, and it's not as overwhelming. Okay. So uh, number five is kind of going backwards. So first I have to figure out like, where did they put that mirror? So if I look, I turn it, my black and my blue, it kind of looks like it's right down the middle, which is what we just did with Y equals negative x. Okay, so we're going to make that r. And then example six, that one's a little harder. So I kind of look here, I look at k and it's one, two, three, four apart. So I have to find the middle of that. And you could have picked any dot you want. Look at the r's, same idea. Okay, so that would be at what? One, two, three. So x equals negative three. All right. 